For now in our application we're only executing a couple of SQL queries. But in large applications there can be a lot of SQL queries executed within one particular HTTP request. And sometimes during development it might be useful to debug those queries. And in general to see what SQL queries have been executed during particular HTTP request. And to simplify this process Laravel allows us to set up a listener that is going to be executed every time a SQL query will be run. So to register this listener let's just open up App Service Provider inside Providers folder. And right here within boot method let's write the following. So we're going to set up the listener by using listen method. As an argument in here we're specifying the callback that is going to store the logic that has to run every time any SQL query will be executed. So right here we get access to particular SQL query via this query variable. But before writing any logic in here let's also import all necessary classes within this file. And now we can inspect every SQL query in our replication. So let's just dump some data regarding this query. We can print out the SQL statement itself as well as all the dynamic bindings that will be injected into SQL query. And also we can see how much time it took to run particular SQL query. It is stored under time property. And in the browser if we're going to refresh the page which lists all courses we're going to get a SQL query that has been executed to fetch those courses. The array under key 1 is empty because there are no dynamic values inserted into a SQL query. And we also see that this SQL query took around 1.5 milliseconds. But if we're going to request the road which shows data about particular course, this SQL query will have one dynamic segment which is an identifier of the course that we have specified in the address line. And the data for those dynamic segments is stored under this associative array. So by using this listener we can quickly see what database queries have been executed during particular HTTP request. So I'm going to comment out this listener for now, but anytime we're gonna need to inspect SQL queries, we can simply uncomment this code.